Cook back again. Today I'm going to do something that hopefully will really revolutionize your thought process. I'm going to introduce what I think is one of the world's greatest analytics tools, Slack. Oh, I, I know what you're thinking. It's just for geeks and nerds and, you know, dorks like me um, to share messages. Well, I have a job to do. I need to get insights so that I can do my job. If I'm texting and browsing and collaborating with others, then guess what? I'm able to do my job. And in that sense, this is a phenomenal analytics tool then, isn't it? I'm going to let that sit in for a second because hopefully that, that's kind of a big difference. I know what you're thinking of in terms of analytics, and I'm hopefully going to help you change your mind and thought process on that. Right now, this can be a way to get data in a more traditional way. I'm using an artificial intelligence system called Crunchbot that allows me to chat with it. I can do simple things like, help me, Mr. Crunchbot, I don't know what I'm doing. And it gives me some help and then kind of shows me the types of things um, that I might be able to do. Like I might be able to say, show me KPIs. And it'll show me the KPIs. Now I've got my numbers. If all I needed was to know those KPIs, guess what? I'm done. Right? Maybe I want to start analyzing things a little bit more in depth. I want to understand what is available for me in this application. What did somebody out there give me that I can now chat about and I can see those things. I can say show me measures. So I can see those predefined govern metrics that are in the data and oh wow you know what maybe I want to look at average length of stay and so I simply click on average length of stay hey by the way Dalton average length of stay is 6.76 for the current year and you might also be look interested in these other things like looking at it by year over year well yeah maybe I do want to see what the difference is hey this year is 6.76, last year was 4.97. That means I've lowered it by 26.42%. I'm going golfing, guys. Right? I don't need to analyze this with a traditional app if that was what I was primarily interested in. But I know you want to see something more. So I'm going to ask it, one of the other things he told me I could do, hey, show me some visualizations. These are visualizations already built in the app. And I'm going to say, hey, show me patients by age group. Woohoo! I get to see the chart. If I need to expand that, I can expand it. Awesomeness, right? That's good. What if I click on readmission rate over time? Fantastic. Well, Here's the, here's the cool thing. This is where natural language comes into play. And especially natural language with an artificial intelligence system that's so leading edge like Crunchbot. I don't need predefined any things. I can just ask what I'm looking for. Like I can say, how are my admissions doing? right that's not really structured I'm asking it for something and it says hey here's admissions for the current year and by the way I've given it to you this way and I could say well show it to me year over year right maybe that's not something I think to ask um, but if I click on that if I actually click on it instead of just holding my mouse over it It goes out and gets the system and tells me, hey, total in months for current year to date is this, and the total in months for last year was this, and that's 8.5% less admissions. And apparently I had clicked it, it just took a little bit of time for it to actually parse that out because I don't have any charts built. That wasn't something that was out there. It just let me do it. 
So what if I said, um, what is the readmission rate? So again, I'm just asking, hey, by the way, I've prepared this chart you might be interested for. You know what? Gosh, I only need to know that for COPD. I, I'm just focusing on that. It goes off and gives me that information. Now here's the key thing. I typed 40CPD. It remembered what my context was. It knows that my question was give me the readmission rates. My context stays the same so I can continue to ask him things like if I just now say well let me see it for all conditions. That context engine remembers what question I've asked and simply continues to append as I'm going through. Well, I, I don't really like this chart, man. I, I'm, I'm a little bit baffled here by this. So what I want to try to do is start a thread and say, hey, can someone help me understand this? I was sure we had the problem solved, but it appears we are still in trouble. Right? And I want that to go off, and perhaps I could create it as a direct message to somebody special. But the goal is collaboration here, right? I found some insights simply by asking. It comes back gives me some information. Now I need to go a little bit deeper. So that one I'll worry about somebody else monitoring this channel with my team, my department, my service line could see my question and would be able to respond to me. But go, let me go ahead and go a little bit deeper here. Show me the top eight providers by admissions. Notice I'm asking for 8, not the traditional 5 or 10 or 15. It truly is interpreting what I'm saying and then responding accordingly. right? So now it gives me the top 8. Again, I can remember my context. If I know that mail was out there, I can now say, hey, remember what I asked you before. Now make the adjustment just for mails. Hey, you know what? Why don't you create me a chart? for admissions by county. That sounds like a reasonable idea. Awesome, right? Well, hey, you know what else? Gosh, this is giving me data. It's giving me numbers back. I'd like to get some insights. I'd like it to help me maybe think through or analyze the data a little more. That's kind of what analytics should involve, right? One of the things that I really love is I can say, I want you to enable insights. And I'm going to tell it, I want some advanced insights because, hey, I'm the click dork. Go ahead and give me some advanced insights. Now, let me say, how are my admissions doing? Rather than just producing the simple graph, guess what? It goes through and starts finding those nuggets of wisdom that might prompt me to understand where to look next or what to question. You've got to love that. So I'm going to leave those insights turned on um, as I keep going here. So maybe I can say, show me the top 10 providers for admissions again. I'm going to get the chart and the number, but since I've got these on, I get to find out, hey, by the way, did you know that this guy's admissions, 92% of them are concentrated in that county? No, I did not know that. I've just got insight that will help me do my job, right? That's kind of what we're looking for here. Come on, if you are not, like, loving this, I don't know what's wrong with you. Let me do this, though. What if I um, now want to say, hey, I like, I really like this. I'm going to keep that thing here so that as I scroll down, I'll be able to find that again. Now let me move on. 
Um, show me departments with more than 200 admissions. Right? Find me all of those with more than 200. It's not a top 10. It's not a top 5. It's not a bottom this. It's not a chart that. It's let me go find those things for you based on what you're asking. How about show me the top 10 percent uninsured census tracts. I'm working in population health. I need to really focus where, where might my patients be at the most risk. And I go out and ask this and it goes and finds me all the census tracts that have the highest percent of uninsured rates. Come on, you should be clapping, but but wait, it gets better. I can say, I want you to email that to me. I, I need a record of this. I'm, I'm just on my phone. I'm going out here working. Hey, I found your email address. I sent you an email with your data. I can now not forget this insight that I wanted, which is good. This gets even better. Hey, you know what, Crunchbot, I really love talking to you, man. Why don't you just surprise me? Sh show me something I wouldn't have thought about. Hey, did you know that 68.54% of the uninsured is contributed from the top this many of the census tracts? I, wow, I, I didn't know that, but man, I was, can you surprise me with um, admissions? How about if I spell it correctly? How about if you just surprise me with some nugget of wisdom about admissions? Hey, compared to all the months, the highest month was this month. I, I did not know that. Surprise me. For readmission rate. Holy smokes, that, that's the highest rate. One of the things that's really neat here is you notice it's showing me the, the app. Where is this data coming from? What's the source of that? I can click on that source if I want to. It will actually now take me out to the ClickSense server where this application exists. And I could go now drill more into the data. Right? I can do all my typical stuff. I can come through here, make selections, yada, 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 all fantastic stuff. I also have a Crunchbot extension. Woo! Take a look at this now. Well, show me help. What can I do here? Well, Dalton, you could do all of the same things you've done before, like show me admissions by hospital. And it goes off and can get me that data, brings it back. Hey, that's phenomenal. You know what? Gosh, <sighs> there's a lot of times I get interrupted with calls, you know, because I'm the click dork and all. And people bug me with questions about things I'm not even in the middle of. The beauty here, I don't even have to be in the app. I can ask it information about a completely different application. That's the beauty. As I'm doing my job, I can ask it what it is I need and get the answers. I can continue to drill into these things, right? These don't even have to be the same application. You think, I need a dashboard so my execs can get information from lots of apps. Okay, let them. But why does it even need to be a traditional GUI? That's one of the things I share with customers I talk to all the time. It is not all about visualization. Just because the media and analysts make it all about visualization and all you see is five-dimensional charts that rotate and give you back massages, 
doesn't mean that that's where analytics have to come from. In this day and age, we've got tools like CrunchBot that use artificial intelligence and natural language so that you can just query and get the answers you need as part of your workflow, where you're working. If I want to query for some other apps, I can get these things. If I want to embed this into some other products, like my EMRs, I can embed it in those products. If I want to embed it in Slack, because that's where I work, and that's where I want my analytics, guess what, my friends? That's exactly what can be done. I am super excited. I need to keep talking to this ch chat bot thing here. I want to find out if he, if, if he likes my, my dork name or if I should go with click nerd or something. Take care, y'all.